everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Hi, Emma. Whoa, what is wrong with your eye? It's as pink as your skirt. I know, Auntie. I, I woke up this morning and had all these yucky boogers in my eye. And, and it's so itchy. Auntie, what's going on with my eye? Well, Emma, it looks like you have something called pink eye. Or in doctor terms, we call conjunctivitis. Can you say conjunctivitis, Emma? Hmm, conjunctivitis, Auntie. Great job, Emma. So, Auntie, how did I get pink eye? Good question, Emma. Well, pink eye can be caused from different things. Sometimes a bacteria or virus, sometimes from something getting in our eye, like a chemical, or from allergies. Wow, Auntie. I didn't know there were so many different things that could cause pink eye. Yes, Emma. And to understand why the eye turns pink, let's first take a closer look into the world of the eye. Let's do it, Auntie. I can't wait to learn more about the eye. Okay, so earlier I called the doctor term for pink eye conjunctivitis. Well, what do you think that means, Emma? Hmm, Auntie, um, I, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, well, let's break down the word conjunctiva and itis. Itis is the doctor term for inflammation. So now let's figure out what the conjunctiva is. Even though the eye seems like it's one big ol' eyeball, it is actually made up of many parts. The white part of our eye is called the sclera, and the sclera and eyelids are covered by a thin, clear membrane called the conjunctiva. The job of the conjunctiva is to protect and lubricate the eye. It basically is a big shield to keep things out of our eye. It also teams up with glands in our eyes to keep our eyes wet with tears. So if something gets into our eye, we can get it out. Now deep within the conjunctiva are small blood vessels. And when the conjunctiva senses a bad guy getting into our eye, like a bacteria, virus, chemical, or allergen, it tries to fight back by sending in the immune cell troops. All right, you immune cells, Emma's eye is under attack. Warning, warning, let's fight back. When this happens, blood vessels deep within the conjunctiva get larger or inflamed to bring in the immune cells to fight. This causes our eye to turn red and pink and can even give us a mucousy discharge. And that is why we get pink eye. Wow, Auntie. So you're telling me my eye is pink and goopy because there's an immune cell battle going on? Yes, Emma, exactly. Wow, Auntie, that, that's amazing. So, Auntie, how do I know what caused my pink eye? Well, Emma, we try to figure it out based on the story you tell us of how it started. For example, if you are sick with a cold or someone in your house or school has pink eye and you caught it from them, I would say it's from a bacteria or a virus. Hmm... No, nope, Banty, I don't feel sick, and no one else that I know has pink eye. Okay, so maybe it's from a chemical then. So let's say you were playing and you accidentally sprayed something in your eye at home, like maybe mom's perfume or something, then I would say it's from a chemical getting in your eye. Ooh, yikes, Auntie. Well, we can cross that one off the list. That didn't happen to me. Okay, and last but not least, it could be allergies. <gasps> Chew! Hmm, I think you may be getting closer, Auntie. <laughs> okay, Emma, are your allergies acting up again? 
<laughs> well, Auntie, I, I did go outside yesterday and picked a bunch of flowers and, and played with my dolls in the grass. <laughs> Two! So, I, I think maybe it could be my allergies. So, Auntie, what do I do? I mean, pink is my favorite color and all, but not enough to have pink eyes. <laughs> Well, Emma, depending on what we think causes your pink eye is how we treat it. So, if we think it's a bacteria, that requires eye drops with antibiotics to kill the bacteria. Oh, oh, wow, Auntie. Do the drops hurt? Nope. They're just cold and they tickle a little bit, but that's all. Phew. Okay, well, I don't have a bacteria, so what about a virus? So if it's a virus, we can use different drops to help the itch and keep the eyes clean with warm water. But no antibiotics are needed because antibiotics only kill bacteria. So we just have to wait it out for our good old immune system cells to fight off the virus itself. Whew, good to know, Auntie. And, and what about chemicals? Like, how do we fix those? So for pink eye caused by chemicals, so when we get something in our eye, we need to wash it out immediately when we get something in our eye, and then the doctor can give us some special eye ointments or drops to help any kind of healing that can happen at the eye. Oh, good to know, Auntie. Okay, and what about me? What do I do to treat my allergy pink eye? So, for pink eye caused by allergies, <gasps> chew! <laughs> For allergies, well, we treat the allergies. We use antihistamine pills, nasal sprays, and eye drops to help treat those pesky allergies, which will help the eyes. Oh man, Auntie, yeah, I guess I did stop my allergy medicine. I better get back on it. One thing also to remember with pink eye, if it's from a bacteria or virus, it can be very contagious. So it's important to wash our hands when we have pink eye. And also if we see others who have pink eye, we need to not touch their eyes or their hands to avoid getting pink eye from them. Got it, Nancy. All right, Emma, let's remember everything we learned with a fun song. Great, Auntie, let's do it. Are you ready for the pink eye song? Here we go. Me, oh my, oh me, oh my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pink, pink eye, red and pink, pink eye, yeah, yeah. Cause if you a virus or you bacteria, you a chemical, you my allergy. Fight immune cells, grow next blood vessels, grow. help my itchy eye. One, two, three, goodbye. All right, everybody. Now you know the words. Let's sing it out together. some allergy eye drops to help out those itchy eyes. Great, Auntie, let's do it. Okay, let's see here. 
got some drops. Okay. And put your head back. Got it, Auntie. Okay. There we go. Huh? That didn't hurt at all. I I was nervous, but it didn't hurt. See, I told you. All right, Auntie. I feel much better. Let's go outside to play. All right, let's do it. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.